Hi everyone, I'm Jake, and I'm going to show you how to switch the skeletal mesh on the Mimic Pro animation system. So first off, you might notice in the Mimic Pro folder, there are two included skeletons. There's the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin skeleton and the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin skeleton, and both of them have sockets included for each controller and the POV. That's important because it tells the system that, you know, this is the offset between the tracked controller and the hand bone, or, you know, the offset between the camera and the head bone. So you need those sockets on your skeleton in order for it to function. And here I've got just a pirate skeletal mesh from the marketplace. It comes rigged to both the Unreal Engine 4 and 5 skeleton. And so if I want this to work with the system, I'm just going to assign it the proper skeleton from the Mimic Pro directory. And now you can see it has those sockets on the skeletal mesh. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with one of the Unreal Engine 4 versions for demonstration purposes, skeleton assigned skeleton. And now I'm going to use the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton from the Mimic Pro directory. I open this up and you can see it has those sockets. So now if I come into my character blueprint and set that as the default skeletal mesh, when I press play, it is working per, uh, just as expected with that Unreal Engine 4 skeleton. And now if you want to change meshes at runtime, the only thing you have to do is set the skeletal mesh asset. That's what these mesh change blueprints do, is when the player overlaps with it, it just gets the skeletal mesh component and sets the asset. And then the VR body component will handle everything. It'll apply the right animation blueprint, remeasure it, recalibrate to it. All you have to do is set the skeletal mesh asset as long as it's assigned to one of the skeletons in the skeleton library. Now you'll also notice there's a SKM settings library. And this is in case you want to change the settings on a per skeletal mesh basis. So for example, the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin is a hard body with, you know, ball joints for the wrists. You don't want to use twist bones for that. So I've added it to this SKM settings library and disabled the twist bone solving for the arms and legs to keep it looking natural. And yeah, that's about it. So now I can, you know, copy this mesh change blueprint, assign it, no, oh, that's not right. I can assign it this skeletal mesh. I'll do the same thing for the Unreal Engine 5 pirate that we assigned. I think it was this one. If I press play, should start as the, our Unreal Engine 4 pirate, which, you know, has working twist bones. If I switch to the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin, those twist bones are disabled. And I can switch between all of these without issue. So that's how you switch skeletal meshes. I have a metahuman tutorial out as well, which will show you how to handle differently proportioned meshes or meshes with multiple that are made up of multiple skeletal meshes. So I'll leave that linked in the description along with my contact information and the product page. So reach out if you need anything. Thank you guys.